Obviously you've got some pretty special memories from um, Western Springs rugby wise. Talk to us a little bit about your rugby history. Yeah, it seems like a, a few years ago now I've played, played a couple of seasons for Ponsonby and this is our, our home ground and yeah, lots of good memories of the boys on here. And honestly I don't remember really having a choice, you know, my, my whole family is pretty avid rugby players. My grandfather's a play for North Auckland, the captain of Māori All Blacks, so it was kind of in my blood, you know. Um, so I played lots of seasons from six up until I went to high school really. You know you get to an age where you can actually apply yourself properly and that's when I realised I probably fell in love with rugby for the first time. Even though I had spent so many years around clubs and all that stuff growing up. Definitely after school and going down to Dunedin it was um, pretty much front and centre of my, of my aspirations trying to become an All Black pretty much. If you don't mind we'd like to bring a special guest out right now. This man's name is Juani Martinga. Obviously you guys have some rugby connection as well with Juani who used to be in, in the band obviously playing um, for Bay of Plenty. Um, do you guys still catch up with him a bit? Yeah, I mean people don't really know, um, 6 he has been through many of evolutions but um, we were really started on the rugby field as Juani and I and Eli, the drum, our drummer, were in the same Varsity Blues team in Dunedin our first year down there. Um, and from playing in the changing rooms after the games and you know, getting requested from the from the team to keep playing, it it's really was a natural progression from from the rugby field, and then yeah, uh, added other members and it evolved from there. Obviously, we've got a huge back black campaign happening this year, so just tell us a little bit about how you guys are back black. Well, um, I think we've been back in black for a long time. For pretty much my whole whole life, I've been um, a fan of the All Blacks, and you know, I've been trying for a long time. I was trying to be one myself, never quite made it, but. Maybe this is the closest I'm going to get, you know. Um, no, it's just really cool. It's such a big year, and um, we're happy, happy to support the boys. You know, if any help we can have and bring some music into the um, into the journey, we're more than happy to be help. You were part of, of the All Blacks fan barbecue down in Wellington a couple yeah. of weeks ago, and obviously a real special day as it was the day your song The Greatest came out too. Um, what was that like for you guys? Really cool, you know. Um, we're lucky. I feel really fortunate to have this um, kind of uh, camaraderie with the All Blacks and um, particularly on a, such a big year, you know, and we're more than happy to come and we feel like we share the same fan base, you know, we're, um, All Blacks are so much part of New Zealand culture and something we aspire to. Um, so I feel like it was a match made in heaven, you know, the song came out, we were there for all the um, local fans and played a couple songs, it was really great, it was a really great day. Obviously this place has got some special memories as we mentioned before, like can you, could you have ever imagined that when you were younger you'd be here a few years later playing in front of 40,000 fans and, and you'll be doing it again next year? Is it sort of a surreal feeling for you? Oh, not often do we like sit down and reflect on, on the journey we had, but um, when we do, yeah, it's really it's been a really special, special journey and we feel really um, lucky, maybe not lucky not the word, like we definitely have worked really hard and we've, uh, and we've uh, applied ourselves to get here. So maybe it's like a sense of relief too and a um, sense of pride that we've put on that hard work and, and made some history. And we're going to do it again next year and this time um, with that experience under our belt we feel really confident about putting something um, really special together. Yeah. Let's go out.